Right, boys and girls, no messing around. We're trying to get promoted this year. There's going to be loads of matches coming up and we're going to try and win them all. Easy peasy. Yes, on Monday. So this time next week, it's your birthday. Wowzers. We need a we need an Alex party. Yeah, we'll sing you happy birthday on uh, on Sunday then. Is there an RAF guy standing off camera pointing at me? Not today. There was for the last several days. We certainly are doing more YouTube videos tonight. At least one more. We're going to do some long streams this week. Well, as long as I can realistically cope with you know me. Don't like to go over three hours, really. So if I can manage to go more than three hours, we'll do some long streams. But it doesn't seem like my kind of thing. I prefer a nice, short, tight stream. I don't like to go longer than three hours after a 50 hours straight. It's the joke. Do I miss my runner? I do a little bit, yeah. I've nearly finished my drink, and I am wondering where my next one is coming from. Because once we got the system working, I didn't even have to ask. I would just talk about being thirsty. But, and because they were watching the stream, they'd be like, here, would you like a drink? And I wouldn't even have to ask. That's the kind of service I can get on board with. So yeah, I would like that for every stream always from now on. But I don't know that Anna's going to uh, approve of such a thing. Oh, I see what what's happened. We've got we've got two Rodriguez's. That's why I got confused. So this is the guy who's supposed to be playing as the attacking midfielder. Now I see your concerns, boys and girls. I understand. I'm like, I mean, he played that. He's played that twice already. He's fine. No, it was a different guy. We've got two Rodriguez's. Okay, now I understand. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Henry to come and work for me. I don't think I can pay him as much as Joe do. And I'm not certain, but I don't think his entire role with them is just fetching drinks for streamers. Alex, come on now. Alex might be done. He's not even recovered from his broken leg and now he's got shin splints and he's out for another three to four months. We might never see Alex play again. He's got shin splints at the exact point that he broke his leg. Why has he been playing games for the under-19s? Rest, for goodness sake. So who is going to fetch me my next drink? Did we establish that? Because I am now beverageless. And by the way, I haven't got any coffee in the house because I got rid of it. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I just drank it all and didn't replace it when I was winning myself off it. So the only coffee pods I've got are decaf ones. So I'm having to drink instant that we brought back from Centre Parks or Forest Holidays or somewhere. It's really not the same. Shoot! Why did you take so long? Just fire it straight in. Oh, they're faffing about. Stop faffing about. I almost bought Prime today. I almost bought a Prime bucket hat today from the post office. I went into the post office to send tow for the hard drive of all the footage in from the weekend. Special delivery cost me seven pounds. Um, guaranteed tomorrow though, Topher. Make sure you're in. Um, and they were selling Prime bucket hats. The first time I sat down at the computer again this morning, it was like, oh, this feels a bit wrong. The keyboard's exactly the same. The mouse is different. The mouse didn't feel right. It has not taken long at all to get back into, yeah, space bar on the mouse. It's a wonderful... I should get an extra five hours added to the record for the fact I had to use two hands to play the game. Shoot! I wasn't talking to them. I wanted our boys to shoot. Ah, Jabiru. Oh, oh, oh! That's a goal! That's a goal! Hideous. Yeah, can you keep the noise down, please? Oh, yeah, it was immediately before All In. Yes, that's right. So we were down in the New Forest, and then I came back for an afternoon and then got the train to London. But Pokemon Go Fest and then All In. 
And it's only getting more hectic from here because from this point, looking forward, I've got... I'm doing an assemb a couple of assemblies in a Peterborough school on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm at Alton Towers. Saturday, I'm back down at Southall. Monday, we head to Great Yarmouth. Get back on Friday. And then the Monday after that, we're off to... In fact, a Sunday, I think we go. We head to France for Disneyland. I get back from France on the Saturday morning, and that is an FA Cup day. So I'm going to have to go to an FA Cup match on the way back from France, I guess. And then we've got EGX, Comic-Con. We're off to Blackpool as well in there somewhere. Um, football manager will come out somewhere in there. It's uh, it's going to be a mad... I'm going to wake up in the middle of December and be like, what the hell? It's not summer anymore. When did that happen? Are we allowed to know the armor for itinerary? Um, I mean, there's not much of one yet. Both of the theme parks are closed while we're there, so we're not going to either of them. Um, so I'll do a Great Yarmouth live stream. I'll go and knock on Ben's door and see if he's in. Do knock and run at Ben every time I'm anywhere near his house. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do a Great Yarmouth live stream, a Great Yarmouth video in the same style as the Skegness and Bournemouth seaside ones have been. Um, I'll do a review of the place where we're staying and then we'll probably we're there for four days so I might have one of them as a day off just to try and get my head caught up with everything um, but more likely I'm going to go and hit a couple more Norfolk seaside towns and I'll work out which ones are nearish to Great Yarmouth and go and tick a couple of them off because the seaside videos seem to be quite popular at the moment. No, I'm just talking about being an influencer. Got to use the I word. It's for a series. I'm speaking to a couple of sixth form groups as part of it. They're doing like a series of assemblies with people from different professions. And one of the ones they wanted was influencer slash content creator. Yeah, I've sat there today writing a little PowerPoint. Should I do the PowerPoint for you? On the topic of Big John, he told me some of the people who were approached to do this world record before I was, and I can't share, but it is interesting. Who turned it down before they got far enough down the list to ask me? <laughs> <laughs> no FM people. I was the first FM person. I think. At least he didn't mention any other FM people. What? Oh, well. We were talking earlier in the stream about what would be an acceptable end. If Mrs. Wearmouth leaves, that's the day the save ends. This could be it. I'm not managing home without Mrs. Wearmouth wouldn't be the same the only reason i'm still doing it is because she's got me over a barrel without her here i can leave how's the 70 30 split going we hit it in august we've not hit it yet this month but the month is still young although we've not got many streams left in it those couple of years where i wasn't really vlogging or traveling much were absolutely brutal for not having enough expenses don't worry i'm spending plenty now but it's got, that's the, the double-edged sword of my tax bill will be much lower next year but I'm spending I'm spending the money I'm supposed to be spending on tax this year it'll be fine we'll worry that's future Kev's problem come on Gorka yes they said change of the sound. what did I use what did I use at the weekend what are we saying Stream Elements is back, is it? Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Does someone want to try and do a command? Just one of you, just once. I, I mean, I shouldn't have said, I should have just tried one myself, shouldn't I? Exclamation mark NordVPN. Try that one. That's the important one. Ba 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 
Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. They're trying to put these kids off of wanting to be influencers because ultimately, and I'll, I'll, I'll address this in the Q&A bit if it comes up. Wow, we don't want to get rid of him. Ultimately, it is a huge amount of luck. There's a lot of hard work and the hard work doesn't necessarily pay off. It only pays off if you're really lucky and you time it right. And uh, none of them have timed it right because they're all too young. If the, the the real answer is if you wanted to make it big on social media, you needed to do it 10 years ago. Even I was a little bit late, but managed to find a niche that was still relatively untouched in Football Manager. But if you wanted to be a YouTuber, you needed to do it in like 2011. You can be famous for something else, then also do a bit of Twitch, but only because you're already... Yeah, that's... I mean, <laughs> if that's the route to get into... I'll tell them that. I mean, if you want to be a streamer now, I'd suggest you go and get famous for something else first and then come over for it. <laughs> I mean, the closest FM's been to esports is the streamer showdown, isn't it? That's why we know I'm the best football manager player of all time. Because I'm the most successful manager in that. If you want to become big in streaming, say you have to leave Twitch. Disagree. It's too late on Twitch. Disagree. Too much competition and lack of visibility. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean you don't go on to... The way to build a Twitch channel is to grow a TikTok or a YouTube and use them to send people to your Twitch because they're the ones that have the discoverability. The ideal is YouTube, but you don't want to stream on YouTube because you don't make as much money streaming on YouTube as you do on Twitch. If you want to make money as a streamer, the only viable place is Twitch. So the idea is you build up your YouTube and use those people to send over to your Twitch. It's how I've done it. It's how Zealand did it. It's it's how you do it. You certainly can't just sit there streaming for 12 hours a day anymore. Again, you, there comes a point where you just accept that if you want to be a streamer, you become a Twitch streamer or you don't make any money at it. If you can't make it on Twitch, you're not going to make it as a streamer. Absolutely no way someone could start now, only stream, and get anywhere. It just won't happen. Tell them to take their own time to find the video where I broke it down a year ago. Exactly. And you see it in Football Manager, the amount of people who do it for six months, a year, even two or three years sometimes, and then give up because they never got anywhere. Well, they're still not even halfway through their apprenticeship, if you use me as an example. If you were starting today, don't expect anyone to know who you are for 10 years. I look at some of the people now who are struggling to get 100 views on a video and I look at the quality of their content and it's like wow yeah there's no way there's no way I would have been doing stuff this good at this level just there's no way there's no way I could break into it now if I had to start again from zero I wouldn't bother I just wouldn't if you took if you took all of my kit off me and all of my money off me so I literally had to start again from nothing and only invest what I earned I'm not making it. It would be potentially interesting to get their opinions to a point, but I think they're creating completely different content in a completely different genre. Just because we're all using the same game as the backdrop, it would be like having a uh, an ultimate team guy and a career mode guy argue about what makes a good FIFA video, and it's just a completely different genre of video. I'm not trying to make every video a one out of ten. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to get a, an audience who come back every day and enjoy a playlist. We're looking for different things out of videos. Yeah, Man City was kind of an experiment. You're right. The Paris Saint Germain one we did last year was kind of an experiment. So I'm just stretching them out a little bit longer because that's how I enjoy doing them. I personally wouldn't enjoy making a series where I did one episode a season. And it becomes more about the YouTube video and the editing than about the football manager. 
I enjoy playing Football Manager more than I enjoy making YouTube videos. <laughs> so I'll continue making videos about playing Football Manager rather than making YouTube videos using Football Manager as a tool. Didn't see this run of form coming at the end of the transfer special. I mean, what a difference not messing with dynamics makes, I guess. We had a lot of this over the weekend with the Spurs save. If you do a load of transfers, you start seasons badly and then you're playing catch-up all year. Which is why we didn't win the league with Spurs. We've barely made any transfers, so we've just carried on as a good team who know how to play together. The young players have all got a year older, so we've started the season strongly. I think there's also a difference between people who prefer to stream FM versus those who prefer to make videos on it. I mean, I definitely prefer to... I don't know. It's, now we've got the workflow. I guess it's all part of the same thing for me now. But for years, I would have always said I preferred making videos to streaming. But at the same time, if it's not for working with brands, then there's no way to do it sustainably as a job anyway. I couldn't stream as often as I do without NordVPN. We had a very, we had that wobble earlier in the summer where they pulled out for a month because they had their social media blackout month. If they hadn't have come back, the whole new workflow thing might have died before it got fully up and running because I would have had to have doubled down, doubled back in on YouTube again because it becomes difficult to do Twitch without a sponsor. Hello. Don't you need to know my belt? Pick a belt. What are you talking about? Oh, Anna's buying me a belt. Oh, pink one, please. One's called Mustard Check. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Retro Stripe, I think. There you go. Mrs. Weymouth's not going anywhere. <laughs> 